Hi, my name is Effie, and I'm excited to share our recent work. The attention mechanism by design exploits context sensitivity, and attention-based neural networks have generated a lot of success in machine learning. Interestingly, analyses of attention-based language models show that they are sensitive to syntactic structures in the data, but they often fail to generalize robustly, for example, solving problems longer than seen during training. Here, our goal is to explore how highly structured behavior and systematic generalization can arise from stacks of self-attention layers. We consider a set of algorithmic tasks. Given a sequence of items of different shape, color, and texture, each task rearranges them based on item feature or item order. We generated a data set of randomly sampled item sequences, trained the models on shorter sequences, and tested the models on longer ones. We use a simple causal transformer. The input items are preceded by a task token and followed by the end of sequence token. These tokens are first embedded, where the items are embedded together with a set of labels. The embedded tokens are passed through future masked attention layers, and the model then predicts both feature classes and the associated label for the items in the output sequence. Here, we introduce label based order encoding. For the position based encoding methods typically used in transformers, there is an out of distribution problem. Suppose the model is trained on sequences up to length L, any sequence at test time longer than L will involve position encodings unfamiliar to the model. Label based encoding instead encodes sequence order with a set of ascending random integer labels. We sample labels from a range much larger than the max training length L so that longer sequences can be encoded with familiar labels. In our setting, label based encoding indeed led to much better learning and generalization compared to position based encoding baselines. To explore how self attention exploits structures in our tasks, we study two settings. In single task learning, we trained models on individual tasks. While single layer models can learn the copy and reverse tasks, they fail at the sort task, but two layer single headed models can solve both the sort and group tasks. The two layer models predicted accurately across sequence positions, but the single layer models only learned items that always appear early or late in the output sequence. Further, the two layer models are employing a two stage solution to decompose the tasks. Here, I'm showing the attention maps for a generalization sequence in a model that learned the sort task. Items in the input sequence are reordered to match their output order for visualization, and the numbers denote the beginning of each shape group. We find that the attention head in the first layer attends to the unsorted items in the current shape group and increases attention to the end of sequence token toward the end of sorting each group. The second layer then almost exclusively attends to the next token to be generated in the output sequence. So what about when a model learns multiple tasks? This figure shows the generalization accuracy for model, models with different attention heads across two layers. The model needs multi-headed attention to effectively learn all tasks, but placing multi-headed attention in the second layer is the most effective. The models do predict fewer sequences 100% correct as we test them on longer sequences, but they only make less than 5% errors per sequence. And perhaps not surprisingly, the multi-task models develop task-shared computation. Here, I'm going to highlight three results. First of all, we see that the first layer's attention head contextualizes the items based on the task embedding. And some, some second layer attention head consistently attended to the first item in the next feature group in all multi-level tasks. We also find that the learned task embeddings recover task similarities. And when we ablate individual attention heads, we see clearly that they each contribute to multiple tasks. Lastly, when we predict the encoded item representations in different layers in the multitask models to lower dimensions, we see that they have different encoding structures under different tasks. So taken together, here we show that a causal transformer with no predefined task aligned structure could adapt to structures in the data and generalize to longer sequences. The attention layer shows signs of systematic decomposition within tasks and exploitation of shared structures across tasks. The OOD problem of position-based encoding methods can be addressed by the label-based order encoding, which improves lens generalization in transformers. So what about tasks with richer and more nuanced structures? 
Well, self-attention may tune to the structures in the data in a more graded way, and similar dynamics may apply to feature or channel dimensions. This concludes my presentation, and I welcome you to check out our paper for more details on this work.